I think making videos for our songs is a great opportunity to take the meanings and the concepts of songs to the next level. I've uh, known Scott for about 10 years now. We uh, actually went to school for painting together at East Carolina University in North Carolina. I guess this past December, I mentioned that I was working on some animations and he asked if it would be possible to look into maybe doing one for one of their songs. Headful of Doubt, Roadful of Promise was written about the temporary nature of our buildings and of our uh, mentality, uh, accepting a temporary state that we, we may be in. Start with this a little bit slower of suburban development, and then it to become this big city that then became functioning, and then for everything to start to uh, collapse. Jason, with his, his landscape paintings and, and some that I had seen he had animated, dealt with the temporary nature of the world around us. The animation comes from one painting, except instead of having 2,600 separate frames and then putting that on the film, an alteration is made in the painting 2,600 times. To get one second of film, I would use the equation of 10 still shots, so that was 10 alterations on the painting for one second. Through the process of over weeks, painting, taking a shot, painting, taking a shot, these other things start to come into, come into play. We believe in playing our instruments, and we believe in using our voices, and we believe in, in capturing that. And I think that's what's happening here uh, through animation. I don't know, like if this was in the thing, I'd have maybe two seconds or something, so I'd have like 20 shots, maybe less than that. So I'd say like with 10 shots, I'm, my cloud needs to be somewhere in here or something like that. And usually I would have like a bunch of brushes kind of in my hand or wherever, like trying to figure this stuff out. Every now and then a shot would just be way off in color or something, I'm not sure why. So I'd just have to double check that that was right or that I wasn't like in the, in the frame or something. I don't know if you can see this. These were like, I broke the song into like nine segments. So each one was, uh, I kind of figured out exactly how many shots I'd have to get for each one. There was like a symbol that crashed. I think it was, there was a darkness. There's a darkness and it right on darkness is when it, the symbol crashed and I, wanted, I knew I wanted the billboard to like sprout up right then. There's a darkness upon me that's flooded in light. For it to really work, you kind of have to do, you kind of have to make that happen in the actual painting of the animation. There was like one in the Times Square like scene and I guess I forgot to retake the shot after I got it right. So that took like an hour to go back and because you can't really repaint you know, exactly what you have, especially after you've painted over something. There's just like no going back on these things. What the billboard sort of was for me was a way of, uh, without using the figure, to have the character that kind of uh, oversaw this landscape. But you see so many of them, like, on, like I know when I'd get on the train, like going into the city, you see like, there's, there's a bunch, you know, along here. I think the billboard was sort of the character that could see through all of that, or, see, or oversee all of this happening. I think the video relates directly to what we had in mind, conceptually, with the song. I actually think at this point, the video has helped me visualize the song in a, in a much clearer way.